YouTube, I have to speak quietly because my GPS tracker is sleeping. Hello YouTube. <laughs> um, I am showing you of my GPS tracker that did get a major upgrade. And uh, I added to the board uh, TPL 5110 that is right here right at the beginning of the top left corner that is a chip timer chip that can put any electronic to sleep while consuming according to data sheet 35 nano amps not micro nano amps and right now this tracker is sleeping it is powered by a 3.7 volt uh, battery rechargeable and is currently using this is micro amps as you can see and uh, please bear with me this multi multimeter is uh, almost 40 years old 35 at least so it is measuring anywhere between 5 and 7 microamps uh, point 0 0.06 microamps that is i'm sorry and that is if we take the lower value of 0 0.05 microamps that is 50 nano amps so I'm pretty happy with that between 35 according to data sheet and 50 uh, actual and measuring and I'm sure there is uh, my multimeter is not the best to measure that um, I think that's pretty low so um, let me show you the actual tracker I have shown this before I actually I'm turning it off oh and also uh, when it's not sleeping uh, it uses about 25 to 35 milliamps while acquiring a signal and I built this for a customer of mine I, I, he actually wanted uh, a really long running uh, tracker plus he wanted a long update rate normally I have them at one second and but he was uh, he wanted actually up to six hours and with this chip I get two hours sleep time maximum you can adjust it with the potentiometer here with a small trimmer uh, between well on his board it's different but normally you can adjust it between 100 uh, milliseconds and uh, two hours I think that's like what ah, you figure it out um, yeah 72,000 seconds I think or is it 7200 whichever comes <laughs> closer to it anyway um, so I did redesign my board and added that I also changed the LDO to a MCP Oh, I have to look it up. Um, if you if you want to know, just leave uh, write me in the comments. I will tell you exactly what the parts are. And um, it has a very low uh, current. And uh, cr oh, now it comes crescent current. I'm surely pronouncing it wrongly, but uh, like sleep current. And um, anyway. This is what I came up with and I mean they designed the PCB for the actual GPS unit and uh, my SD card did not change. I just redesigned the PCB and added it. Um, I also actually added a DB20 uh, temperature sensor to it so I can also log temperature with it if I wanted to this one is the test unit I made it 
modular so I can unplug the GPS and measure that way or whatever and uh, so this was my test unit and my customer has ordered four of the trackers and I did label them obviously one of them is actually outside uh, running a long time test and um, so the battery life expectancy will be very very long so anyway but I do like that and um, I think if I unplug this this is the smallest lowest current standalone 328 board obviously geared for my uh, tracker or micro SD card module and um, I might use this chip for something else as well I'm not sure yet but that's pretty low sleeping current because obviously uh, over um, MOSFET it shuts off the whole 328 so it's not running at all and um, it does get once you it wakes up the timer wakes up by itself and then your Arduino code runs and once your code is has finished what it's supposed to do it toggles a pin from low to high and puts this little guy to sleep <laughs> and then this guy sleeps according to the resistance that you have that you is uh, it goes up to 170k and resistance if you have 170k resistance it sleeps up to two hours and then it wakes up again the code runs again and then once the code is finished doing what it does it puts it back to sleep again and that way you can even have uh, well this board is running on 3.3 volt obviously but you could even have it run on 5 volt because uh, as long as you're um, when it's running it's not running for hours uh, it's not gonna make much difference if it's gonna run on 5 volts or 3.3 uh, volts uh, takes obviously once you um, have this mounted in your car wherever it takes about 25 to 30 seconds to acquire the signal and then it writes it and as soon as it writes it to the SD card it goes to sleep not much uh, to it pretty simple I do have a LED over here and um, that just indicates uh, it's starting up so I know it started up and um, yeah this is it actually not much to it it did not change much I did put the input uh, on the left side before it was on the top I think and um, as I said it has a temperature sensor as well so you could use this with just a micro SD card slot soldered on like that the micro SD card is on the inside if you can see it here and there's exit micro SD card in here um, so it's a pretty small temperature logging unit that can log on for months uh, I did make a calculation I don't have it in my head yet uh, but it was like with a 200 milliamp uh, lipo battery it was like I think I have to lie it was like three months or six months running time and uh, that's pretty long considering it's a well it I've uh, calculated it with the GPS so if you're just uh, logging a temperature it's gonna take way less it's gonna I mean if it's gonna read the temperature it's gonna read it within a second uh, run for a second the loop and then go to sleep again so it will run for a very very long time so anyway this is my new board if you're interested let me know I will have more fabricated and uh, well fabricated the PCBs obviously I'm doing the um, reflowing myself but if you're interested let me know and I will give you info about it 
anyway this is it for today thanks for watching and oh i forgot uh, i want to thank i had two rather larger sales on my banggood affiliate link thank you very much whoever it was i don't see who it was and but i saw the amount and um, thank you very much i appreciate very much and also thank you to the few patrons that i have and uh, especially also peter and hope you're doing all fine peter i'm waiting for your video about the unboxing of my gadget that i sent you uh, anyway and um, you can support my channel also by uh, liking the video if you do like it like it subscribe to it hit the notification bell and maybe share my video uh, thanks anyway and uh, take care till the next time this is just a short addition if i have nothing connected to my multimeter uh, it's still showing between 0 0.01 and 0 0.03 microamps so i'm getting very close to the um, 35 nano amp sleep current that this chip is using anyway thanks take care